Hunting for treasure is back in Assassin's Creed Valhalla Wrath the Druids and there's nine treasures in total all hidden across the Emerald Isle that you can now find in the game. If you do manage to get them all and in this video I'm going to show you how to, you'll pick up the Norse Gale tattoo scheme which is personally my favourite. You'll also pick up a Nai Pakai scheme which features a unicorn on the figurehead and Pakai meaning mysterious supernatural creature which is often found in the indigenous folklore of Ireland. Anyway let's get cracking and go treasure hunting and we're going to start with Connacht for our first three treasure hordes. So our first treasure horde is located in the southwest of Connacht. So if you can, fast travel yourself to Kiltaber and head towards my marker on the screen. We're going to find this map right next to the lake by an overturned cart, which is where you're going to pick up your To My Friend, the Priest Horde treasure map. So this note tells us of Druids of Kiltaber turning into darkness and warning us not to journey to the crypt, which is exactly what we're going to do. So fast travel yourself back to Kiltaber or just jog back up the road. And if we're going from the fast travel point, you want to dive yourself down, take a right, and you'll see two options to go a left or right. You want to take the left, run down the hill, dodging the Druids while you do so then you want to take a right to go down some steps into that crypt which is where you're going to pick up your north scale tattoo scheme for your head now our second treasure hall map and this is another one in connacht and it's quite close to kiltaber and it's hidden in a small enclave or what looks like a unkept druid temple so run up to that bow island statue and pick up your dream of the druids treasure hall map now this clue is a little bit of a cheeky riddle of sorts but in short we want to head to loch gara just to the north so fast travel to port orley if you can and ride south now when you get there in the small pond at the center of the loch you'll find your Norse Gale torso tattoo scheme which is another big tick. Now our third Connacht treasure hall map is located on the Isle of Dan Patrick Head however our treasure hall map is on the right hand side of the Isle and pretty much at sea level but before you do travel there make sure you have at least one adrenaline bar and the incendiary power trap ability with you. It's going to save you some time. If you don't have this you're already there you can pick up some oil jars around the corner and lob it at that stone rubble which is on top of our treasure map so get rid of that and then pick it up. We've also got a map clue for this one and we'll need to actually travel to the bridge just just east of Loch Garrow, which is the lock we went to before. It's the easiest place to start. Once you're here, run forward and hold the left fork in the road. Follow that path down, jump into the well and pick up your Ne Pukai sail scheme. Now in at number four, and this treasure hall map is called the Potion of Strength, and this can be found on a small river island outside Athlon, so fast travel there if you can. This is located in a druid's hut, and all you really need to do is smash down the door, by the way. It does say bard, but don't worry about it. It is in there on the right-hand side, and it also tells a story about a dude who's made a potion for super strength, and he's going to try and lift the standing stone which is uh, very smart so you need to head north of the island and you'll come across a druid underneath a standing stone which is classic and that's where you're going to pick up your north scale tattoo scheme for your arms so job done now for our fifth treasure hall map and we're going to be heading into ulster and you'll find this treasure map slightly west of donegal in a plague stricken village so when you do arrive smash out that mended thatch wall jump inside climb up the ladder and you'll find the last days of village treasure hall map so this note tells us of a hidden treasure on the coast which is where we're going to be going and it's not too far run further west to the cliffs and as you can see there's some sort of smuggling enclave down there below so we want to swan dive down and get yourself into that small cave and this is where you're going to collect your north scale tattoo scheme for your back now remaining in ulster for our number six treasure hall map and you'll pick this one up inside a river house just along the urn river so when you do arrive the right hand side of the house is where you want to be because you can see an opening to the main door so you're going to ping an arrow to get rid of that lock and after doing that pop inside and pick up that ulster treasure hall map now we've got a picture clue for this one which isn't a problem because this treasure hoard is actually located at Loch Esk. So fast travel yourself to Eregal Summit and run down the hill if you can. You'll find the Ulster treasure hoard on the deck in, left hand side of the house, where you're going to net yourself the Naipakai unicorn figurehead. Now for the next couple treasure hoard maps, we're actually going to be off to Meath to hunt them both down. This one is slightly north of Tuller Light Fast Travel Point, and you'll find this map in the ruins of the Caravan Escort. You can ignore the walls if you want and pick up your Brega hoard map. It's another picture, which isn't a problem. And for this one, you'll want to head slightly south, and this is where you're going to find the treasure just north of the Boyne tombs. So this hoard is on the right hand side of that ruined tomb which will secure you the Nipakar shields for your longship. Now our eighth treasure hall map is still in Meath and it's just a little further south from our Brega Hoard treasure. It's deep in the Meath marshes and it's called the Southern Enil Hoard map and it's located in the tent of a bandit camp. So clear it all out and pick it up. Now once you do give it a bit of an inspection it's a bit ambiguous as far as picture clues goes for this one and it is fairly challenging but if you do head west of Tuller's Light fast travel point you'll see those same markings on the map from your clue which is exactly where we want to go. So run up to the closest circle of stones and pick up your Naipakai hull scheme for your longship. 
Now for the home straight, we're going to finish off our final treasure hall map in Dublin. You'll need to head south of the city and arrive on the eastern coast. We're looking to get inside that bandit cave that you can just see there, and we'll need a key to do so, but you can actually find that in the water just off the small pier. So dive down, grab it, get out and unlock the door and pick up your Dublin hall map. Now, a bit of a challenging final one as well, as this picture isn't great, to be honest, and it's quite easy to miss, but you'll need to head to Rathdown Trade Post and head east of there to get to this Dublin treasure. Easiest way to find this one I found is place yourself outside the fields to the east, hop over the fence and then run directly straight to the far corner near the gate. This is where you're going to pick up your final tailpiece for your ship scheme, the Nail Pakai, which I'm sure all of you are going to be running with. Great work. Now, if you found this video helpful, a like below only takes a second and it helps me out a lot. So thank you very much. I've also got some more DLC guides up on the channel at the moment. So if you're on a bit of a collector's rampage, do check them out if you found this one helpful and enjoyable. Anyway, I think that'll do from me. I'm sure I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, coffee's on me.